everyone. This is Karen. Hello, everybody. This is Shane. Today we're looking at part one of restaurant etiquette around the world, right. and the vocabulary words are appropriate. Appropriate. It is not appropriate to talk loudly at the theater. Dine. Dine. Charlie usually dines alone, but we'll have lunch with friends today. Hmm. Reservation. Reservation. Sandy made dinner reservations at the restaurant for 7 p.m. Snap. Snap. The teacher snapped to get Randy's attention. Randy. 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 <laughs> Restriction. Restriction. The government plans to ease import restrictions. Okay. So mm. etiquette, food, dining, restaurant, etiquette around the world. Like how to be polite, yeah. eating in a restaurant, so in different countries. Right, so etiquette is kind of like the like good manners, right? That's right. Okay, so we're starting off in Europe. In France. in France. So what should we do if we're in France? What do we need to be careful of? Actually, there are some things that I didn't know of. You mm. know, like if you were to make a reservation, it's very, it's quite important to be on time. Okay. And it's not really polite to just or share one dish and everyone, you know, just order oh. one and everyone shares. So you just eat your own. Yes, you're supposed to oh. order your own dish and you're not supposed to have any leftovers. Oh, well you can't take them home with you? That's Is right, that that's oh. right. And yeah. when you go into the restaurant, it's very important to greet the waiters. Hello, Can how you do you do? Snap your finger oh. Like, Come here. oh. Clapping your hands and snapping your fingers at the waiter is a big no-no. Okay. That's considered rude. Okay, well, in Italy, I don't know if that's rude or not, mm -hmm. but I do, you mentioned that you're not allowed to share food in France, but in Italy, Italy it's actually quite common for people to share meals. <gasps> like sharing pizza, right? Yeah, sharing pizza mm -hmm. or a big lasagna or that's something right. like that. And did you know that we drink soda usually with our meals, right? That's right. It's very common, but there it would be really weird to do that. Just water or beer oh. or, of course, wine. <gasps> but right? I love soda. I love my, you know, Coke. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's kind of weird. I'm sure if you're a tourist, though, they won't get mad at you. You probably just can't order it from the menu. But it's important to understand everyone's culture. Yeah. Right? So you need to be prepared so you don't look foolish when you're in the restaurant. Don't you're, embarrass yourself. You're right, and we're trying to be polite. That's right. All right, okay, so let's learn more about the restaurant etiquette. Restaurant etiquette around the world. Sampling international cuisine is one of the great joys of traveling. But as a visitor to a new country, you may worry that you don't know the appropriate practices to follow when dining out. Let's look at common restaurant customs in some of the world's most popular travel destinations. Today's lesson is called Restaurant Etiquette Around the World, Part 1. Hello everyone, my name is Jeff. And I'm Mike. That's it, it's time to stop being a slob, stop eating your soup with a fork. Stop wiping your face with your shirt. We're going to be talking about restaurant and eating etiquette. Those are all rude yes. things to do. Yes. We're going to be talking about etiquette, politeness, good manners, the things that you should do and the things that you shouldn't do. The things that will make people go, oh, what a very cultured young person you are. And the th other things that will make your grandmother look at you and go, don't do that. You're embarrassing me. Basically, mind your manners. Mind your manners. When you're eating. That's right. But it's not that simple. As you no, travel around the world, you'll find that things that are okay in some places are not okay in another place. The other, the thing I always think about is slurping your noodles. Right? I, in Japan, I, that's totally cool. But if you tried to do that at home, my mom would look at you and go, please don't slurp your noodles. Yes. But there you go. That's, that's a good example. That's a good example yeah. of how etiquette can be complicated when mm -hmm. you're traveling. But traveling is still great and sampling international cuisine is one of the great joys of traveling. If you sure. travel the world and only ate cheeseburgers, you will have missed out on a lot of really great culinary experiences. For but sure. but as a visitor mm -hmm. to a new country, 
You may worry that you don't know the appropriate practices to follow when dining out. Yes, I'm in Rome. I need to do what the Romans do, but what are the Romans doing? What are their rules? That's right. What are their appropriate practices? And something appropriate, well, this word is great to use when talking about good manners or not embarrassing yourself. If you do the appropriate thing, then you're doing as the Romans do. You won't embarrass yourself because appropriate, this adjective means acceptable. It's polite. It's the right thing to do in that situation. Now that's the tricky part because what is appropriate in one place at one time would maybe not be so appropriate if the situation changes. But if we're talking about appropriate, this word in general, it means it's acceptable and when talking about manners, it's polite. It's something that everyone would say that's the right thing to do. For example, it is not appropriate to talk loudly at the theater. That's not okay. Don't talk to your friends or get on your phone or do things like that. In the theater, it's supposed to be quiet so people can focus on the show. There you go. Now let's talk about the verb dine. If you dine, you eat, but usually you eat at a nice restaurant and you don't make sounds like that. But yes, to dine is to eat. To dine out is to eat at a restaurant, to eat outside of your home. For kind example, of fancy, right? Usually fancy. Yeah. For example, that's why you don't make the sound. Oh. For example, Charlie usually dines alone, but will have lunch with friends today. Yes, oh. usually Charlie takes his lunch alone at his desk, but today he's going to dine out with some of his friends. How about that? Mm. Anyways, let's go ahead and get going with our lesson. Let's look at common restaurant customs in some of the world's most popular travel destinations. We'll start doing so right after this. <laughs> Wouldn't want to do that if you're dining I'm out. I'm in Japan. Oh, okay. Hello, 大家好,我是Hanny. 今天的课文标题是 Restaurant etiquette around the world. 那么标题里面用到etiquette，它就表示礼仪或是礼节。我们出国旅行的时候一定会吃当地美食，毕竟旅行当中的其中一大乐趣就是去品尝各国的菜色。如果你去国外只吃汉堡，会让你错过很多美
to be on time for your restaurant reservation. Don't be late. I must be French. I always try to be on time、uh. for my restaurant reservation. Well, it's important in a lot of cultures to be on time, to not be late. If you're supposed to be there at seven, you get there at seven. But that actually is not true in all cultures. But in France, especially if it's at a restaurant, a nice restaurant, if you make a reservation, be on time. They don't like it. If you're late, what is a reservation? This is a noun for basically an advanced booking. All right, you want to go there at a certain time, probably a busy time. So you'll call a day or two early, or maybe even weeks、mm. early, if it's a popular place, and say, "Hi, I would like to eat there next Saturday at." 7 p.m. with four people, and then they'll write your name in a book, and they'll be waiting for you with a table ready at seven. But in France, don't be late. Or I guess if you will be late, you can call and say, you know, we're still coming, but they want to make sure you will be there for your reservation. For example, Sandy made dinner reservations at the restaurant for 7 p.m. We should point out that reservations are also common with、uh, concert tickets, possibly hotels. Flights, things like that, that get busy, but you don't want to miss out, so you act early. There you go. Anyway, so be on time. Be on time for your reservation. Oui, oui. And there's more. Greet the waiter politely. Bonjour. Never snap or clap to get his or her attention. Waiter, waiter. No, that's that, the that, wrong that, that's, thing that's、really、to、bad. do. Anyways, yes, when you clap, you bang your hands together to make a sound, and when you snap, you make a loud clicking noise.、Uh, you make a loud clicking noise with your fingers, and you're usually only using one hand when you snap. You use the fingers on that hand to make that clicking sound called a、uh, snap. Anyways, for example, the teacher snapped to get Randy's attention. Hey, Randy, pay attention, pal. Mm, all right. I guess he was. But don't do this in France. Daydreaming. In no, don't do that. And don't, don't do call that. the don't call the waiter garçon、oh, no. or anything like that. Just be polite. You should. Here's another thing to do in France. You should order your own main course, as it's considered a bit rude to share one dish. This might be something more、uh, interesting for people here, where、mm -hmm. sharing a dish is very common. But if you go to France, if you order the chicken, you will eat your chicken. It's okay, of course, to let your friend taste it, but you're not all eating out of the same dish in that style. It says, although it is uncommon to take home your leftovers, a new law requires that larger restaurants allow it. If asked,、mm -hmm. so that doggy bag, that take home of the the food that you didn't finish, that used to be sort of rude. People didn't do that, but I think now in France they have all these new laws about not wasting, wasting food. food. So to make it easier for people to do that, the restaurants now will follow that more modern policy. So that's good. That is good. What's also good? A break. Let's go ahead and take a break. But we'll be right back soon. 首先，我们来看看法国的用餐礼仪。在法国，预约餐厅要准时到达，这是很重要的。那么到餐厅的时候，要有礼貌的跟服务生问候。那记得，如果你有需要请服务生过来，千万不要用弹手指或是拍手的方式来引起注意。那我们先来看两个单字 ：reservation。Reservation 表示预约、预定。那么 snap 这个动词呢，它可以用来指说啪一声的折断、断裂。那在课文里面，它表示这样弹指来发出这种啪啪啪的声响。课文接着提到说，在法国餐厅，每个人应该要点一份自己的主菜，因为分着吃是不太礼貌的。好，那么虽然把剩菜打包是不常见的做法，可是他们现在也在鼓吹说不要浪费食物。所以如果你是到比较大间的餐厅，要求说要打包，他们也会照做的。刚刚两位老师说到 doggy bag， doggy 是拼作 d o g g y， doggy bag 就表示打包的袋子，它是源自于把剩菜打包带回家里面给狗狗吃。那么现在都通用了，你要打包回家给人吃或给狗吃都可以，反正 doggy bag 就是打包袋。Restaurant etiquette around the world. Italy. At a typical Italian restaurant, a waiter will seat you. It's fine to share food, but don't make any special requests when ordering a dish. 
like asking to hold the onions or to serve dressing on the side. However, if you happen to have any dietary restrictions, they can usually accommodate you. Italians usually drink water, beer, or wine with their meal, and never coffee or soda. Try to finish your plate and do not ask to take home uneaten food. Okay, we just were in France. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to Italy. Oh. At a typical Italian restaurant, a waiter will seat you. And it's fine to share food, but don't make any special requests when ordering a dish, like asking to hold the onions or to serve dressing on the side. So in France, sharing a dish, it's kind of frowned upon. In Italy, that's okay. But don't ask for anything special. Order your meal and let the cook make it for you the way they think it should be made. There you go. The chef is an expert. If they think it needs this many onions, you should trust them. But there are situations where it might be a health question, and in that case, of course, they will help, as it says. However, if you happen to have any dietary restrictions, they can usually accommodate you, all right? So yeah, if you can't eat milk, if you're a vegetarian, vegetarian, you know, things like that. If you have dietary restrictions, special health reasons for not eating certain foods, they will accommodate you. They will adjust. They will fi fix things to suit you, all right? Dietary restrictions. Now, dietary is about your diet, the food that you eat normally. A restriction is basically a limit on something, right? It, it stops or prevents or bans something. Um, this noun, we often use it to talk about rules and regulations. There are restrictions on smoking in this building or something like that. We could talk about the speed signs on a highway as speed restrictions. You can't go over 100 uh, kilometers an hour. Hour. Dietary restrictions, as I mentioned, would be things that for you, for the way your body is made, you just have to avoid certain things because of allergies or bad reactions. For example, the government plans to ease import restrictions. They used nice. to ban certain types of food coming in, but now things are safer, so they will let them come in. There you go. So, you can't say Please hold the nuts, put those on a side or on the side, but you can say, please don't put nuts in my dish because I'm allergic to them. That's okay. The first instance, not okay in Italy. The second is okay. Now, more on Italians. Italians usually drink water, beer, or wine with their meal and never coffee or soda. So try to finish your plate, okay, eat everything, and also, do not ask to take home uneaten food. Oh. No doggy bags and no coffee or soda with your meal, all right? Those are the rules there in Italy. Anyways, folks, day one of our article on etiquette in restaurants the world over is now in the books. And it's time for us to say bye-bye. Bon appetit. Mm. 下一站来到意大利在典型的意大利餐厅里面会有服务生带你入席那么餐点可以分着吃可是要切记你在点餐的时候不要有任何特别要求像是什么叫人家说不要加洋葱然后什么沙姜放旁边之类的不过要是你本
。大家好，我是 Hanny， 欢迎收看我们的文法单元。今天要介绍的文法重点有三个，第一个是 when 加现在分词或过去分词的用法，第二个是 as 做连接词表示因为，第三个是 consider 表示认为的用法。好，我们先来学 when 加现在分词或过去分词的用法。这个用法其实很简单哦。先来看原本的句型是主词加动词 when 主词加动词。那么当前后主词一样的时候，我们可以把 when 后面那个主词省略，然后把动词改分词。动词是主动的话，就改成现在分词 v i n g； 被动就只要保留过去分词 p p。那么句型就变成主词加动词。When 加上 v i n g 或是 p p， 来看两个例句。He often snores when sleeping. 他睡觉的时候常打呼。好，那么句子里面的 when sleeping 就是由 when he sleeps 简化而来的。再看个例句 ：Dogs wag their tails when excited. 狗狗兴奋的时候会摇尾巴。那句子里面的 when excited 就是由 when they are excited 简化而来的。接着来学 as 做连接词表示因为。as 做连接词可以表达因为、由于，就相当于 because。例如 ，as the washing machine was broken, she washed the clothes by hand。由于洗衣机坏掉，她用手洗衣服。最后来学 consider 表示认为的用法。动词 consider 可以指认为或是将什么什么视为。那主动句型是 consider 某人或某事物 to be 加名词或形容词，其中的 to be 可以省略。那它是要表达认为某人或某事物是怎么样的。例如 ，He considered himself to be lucky， 或是 He considered himself lucky， 他认为自己很幸运。好，那来看被动句型，某人或某事物 be considered to be 加名词或形容词。那么同样 to be 可以省略，这是表达某人或某事物被认为是怎么样的。例如 ，May Day is considered to be one of the most popular bands in Taiwan。也可以说 May Day is considered one of the most popular bands in Taiwan。五月天被视为台湾最受欢迎的乐团之一。哎，他们歌已经听了二十年，好，我透露年纪，到现在我偶尔还是会听他们最早以前的歌，像什么《抱紧我》《吻我》《哦爱》《别走》。可是我要走，因为时间不够了。下次见，拜拜。Hello, everybody. Hi. 欢迎来到 English in Action. What's the holiday? What's the holiday? Okay. Why are we so weird today? I don't know. <laughs> 今年的主题是<笑> ，Together, OK， 真的很有用耶。我们今天怎么了？哎，我不懂哦。可是我觉得我们的对话对你的英文程度真的很有用啊。那我们就去看对话。好Thanks. This really does the trick. No problem. I got your back.、Oh, I literally got my back. <laughs> It's actually still a little bit itchy, right? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay, good. All right. Okay. Yeah. Did you do the trick? Yeah, yeah, that really did the trick. Okay. 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 So trick 这个字呢，其实在这边呢，它原本是小把戏那一种的感觉，可是这边就是哦。这个 pet ball 很不错。Yeah, so this really does the trick. <笑>那感觉就是哇，真的很神奇，真会真的真的刚刚好、oh, ，so perfect. <笑> yeah. 哇、wow, ，我这么没有想到可以用这个。<笑> Or you can say this works wonders. 哦、oh, ，好奇妙啊！这个真的是用起来好奇妙，但是很有用。<笑> this works. Wonders. wonders, or this works like magic. Oh, this is 更夸张了，就跟魔术一样。<laughs> okay, so this is 好用到就跟魔术一样。Oh, how could it work so great? It's like magic. <laughs> yes. 
Okay, well, if your English is having trouble, I think we can help you, and it will work like magic. All right. So, 看我们就对了。This really does the trick. This really does the trick. This works wonders. This works wonders. This works like magic. This works like magic. 